a hundred times. I didn't realize it's only level 100, but that's still 100 times stronger than the one prior. What is this red? What the fuck is this? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolve. I can barely hear the game. We got a bunch of all shit. Anyways, anyways, today we're doing a uh, a special battle on account of Alien Day. Legit Xenomorph Day coming up next week. It's a very special time of the year. For all Xenomorph fans, honestly, I didn't even know there was an official holiday for it until like a few months ago, so I'm just completely full of crap. But nevertheless, today we're checking out the Xeno Crusher and putting this, the Charger, up against Zilla to see which one comes out on top. Because clearly this... Clearly Godzilla's or Zilla's gonna be able to just destroy the shizzle out of everybody. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna happen. But the thing is, Zeno's attack in large numbers and at like quick speeds and vicious attack damages, which makes an army of them pretty damn cool to go up against our atomic lizard over here. The Xeno Crusher, of course, being added to the Random Monsters mod a while ago. I'm just super happy to get this going, and it's like on the we it's Wednesday. I'm not important. April 26th. That's a see. I'm such a new. I'm so new to it. I had to write it down. But it's the reason I'm not posting this on April 26th is because we have a whole other alien thing planned for that day. That's gonna be awesome. Plus, this company sent me some Xenomorph toys. They want me to open up on Alien Day. I don't even get. I don't really get paid for it. I get paid at Alien Toys, which is the best currency there is, anyways. So today we're going to be doing this shiz versus that shiz with an army of these fools. Real quick though, for those of you who don't know too much about Xeno Crushers over here and kind of confused where they fall into the whole thing with like Xenomorphs and all that, let me just read this bit off the wiki. Also, sorry about my sore throat. It's just, it's just a thing. There's nothing I can do about it at this point. The, the shit is just sore. Okay. The Crusher, also known as the Charger, is a Xenomorph cast that was encountered by Colonel Marines on the USS Sephora on... LV-426. Its most notable features are its large head crest, which is said to be completely bulletproof, and its habit of charging its prey to inflict massive blunt force drama. It acts as something of a heavy unit for Xenomorphs, able to engage even armored vehicles with some success. I don't know, last time I did a video on these guys, I said they were like, because I read somewhere that they, um, it was like the, the results of a face hugger getting a hold of like a bull or something like that. But now that seems to have been removed from the wiki. I wonder if it's because I said it in my last video and someone was like, Hell no, that shit's incorrect. That doesn't even make sense. There's no cows on that on that freaking moon. It's like so many light years away from Earth. How the hell would a cow get there? I do admit what I said in my last video was kind of silly now that I think about it. Rereading the wiki. Alright. The Crusher is typically black with dark brown or gold tit to its body. They have been seen in various sizes but are always considerably larger than common warriors, common xenomorphs. Standing around 10 feet tall while on all fours, the Crusher's head is topped with a thick, bony crust. Crest, not crust. Big difference between crest and crust. Larger than even some queens, what? That it's lowered into a vertical position before charging its target like a bull. See, that's where I got, I think that's where the bull theory come from. This crest is incredibly strong, hard enough to repel most forms of gunfire, including even the M56 smart gun. When lowered into charging position, it effectively shields the Crusher's more vulnerable body from frontal damage. The force from the Crusher can impact with its charging attack, or er, the force that the Crusher can impact with its charging attack is tremendous, enough to even propel vehicles sideways some distance or throw an individual Marine seven meters through the air. Several meters through the air. Sorry, that was a little difficult to read for me right there. I'm trying to walk around this guy while reading, and I didn't know I was this horrible at multitasking before. Alien days coming up. There's no way the first couple minutes of this video is going to be describing the beauty that is the Charger right here. So this ain't no regular Xenomorph. That's why this fight's even a little more special. Yay, my throat's coming back to normal. I just had to kind of talk it out for a minute. But unfortunately, these guys still, even in a very high level, this one's starving to death. Stupid creature, stupid hunger. This thing only has 9,000 health. Obviously, that's not going to do that well. This creature at about level 10 has at least 300,000 health, and we are... Really just like, just so, it's, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of a shame to do this on Alien Day or for Alien Day because it's just going to be a video of aliens getting wrecked. But I, the cool thing about aliens, I don't think they'd give a shit. They're just there to do what they possibly can. I'm not sure if they would target Godzilla, but I am very curious as to what would happen if a face hugger got a hold of that thing. I'm thinking because its mouth is just so huge, a legit five or six face huggers could just climb into there. I don't know how they'd squeegee out their infant though without being properly hooked onto like the mouthing system plus would a chestburster be able to survive in an atomic chest setting like that there's so many fandom questions left un unanswered i think no but i think if one of them could survive that'd be a fucking like zilla zeno zilla crusher which would just be insanity okay godzilla's ass is in here at level one there's just no other way that's gonna be fun it's just he needs to be level one what is this arctic zilla i've never seen this silver 
What is this? I've seen, I just saw Beaver posted a video with Golden Zilla. What's up with White Zilla, Albino Zilla over here taking on the Xeno army? This thing's awesome right here. Dude, I've never seen an Albino way to take a shit at the wrong time there, John. I've never seen an Albino Godzilla before. This is, this is sweet. These different skins of Zilla is so awesome. By the way, I don't know if you guys know or not, but Juvenile Zillas are on the way soon. Babies, just like in the movie, and then um, Alphas too, so we'll have Alpha Zillas. Even, even more crazy ass Zillas. Alright, I'm... I'm I'm really hoping, see I, I up their level, they're each 7500, I'm really hoping this goes, actually they each have a lot of health, but that rarely does anything, because Zilla does so much damage. Also, there's like this weird issue a lot of creatures have when you're fighting Zilla. This has happened in numerous videos, as well as like meaties and mines we try to tame it, the, my, my self-taming like single player video I did right when Zilla was released, same thing kept happening. There's an issue where not all your creatures attack Zilla together, I don't know if it's been patched or not, but it makes it so much harder to kill him. Get ready, because the shit's coming! Get in there, boys! Yeah! Okay, well, they jump up. They do a good initial attack. They actually might. Okay, I made them way too powerful. <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna jump. Well, now we just have all these radioactive little xenomorphs. Dude, I totally made this thing way too. Can you guys actually breed? There's no way that's a thing. I made them way too powerful is what I did right there. That was just not a thing. Shouldn't have done that, but I wasn't about to let Xenomorphs just get their asses creamed on Godzilla Day. On Godzilla Day, I said. On Godzilla. Jesus, it's like the words don't even make sense half the time. Okay, what the hell is going on here? I just gotta see. I didn't plan on this being part of the video. I didn't know this was a thing. I really have to see if a baby Xenomorph is gonna pop out of this. See, you know, I mean, I understand. We all know that's not how the process really goes down, but I mean, that's. I. I don't want to give up any secrets to any other mods in the future that we're planning on releasing some awesome stuff, but as of now, there's no face huggers or chest bursters or anything. This is this would be the only way Xenos could get banging. Do they even have genitals? They're just purely murderous driven beasts. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, we're losing Xenos! The radio the radiation's killing people! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, it's gonna kill our mom and dad over here. You're gonna eventually die of radiation poisoning. You have to spit that child out before. Before the radiation takes hold. Dude, that kid's gonna come out with a flipper for a, a for a dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not gonna... This radiation damage is no joke. Godzilla's straight up. Anyone who fights him will die later of sickness. Damn it, woman! Yo, we straight up have a pregnant xenomorph right now. I did not see this coming at all. You are a pregnant xeno. We gotta keep our eye on you, lady. Stay, I love I love these things, by the way. The, the animations, and it's all just so beautiful. Such a well-ported in creature. All right, Prego. Whoa, lady. Hang on. Chill, chill. Jesus Christ, this is crazy. This went from a Godzilla fight to a pregnancy video. This is just an adventure for all of us right here. It's supposed to be just this a tribute to Xenos, though. God, I wish I didn't have breeding. I don't. I just don't have it turned up at all. This is regular. This is how things regularly go. The game devs are straight up like, yeah, wait nine months and then a kid will come out. How's that for realism? Here's our issue. The Xenos, since I've last used them, have gotten much stronger. Holy hell, I did not realize that. 7,000 melee damage on each of you. No wonder Godzilla was vaporized. Jesus. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a long ass time, and I'm just curious as to what the hell's about to come out of the Xeno Crusher. I'm very, like, 99.9%. I'm pretty certain that it's just gonna get to 100, and nothing's gonna come out, and it's gonna be the most heartbreaking thing ever. Because I just wasted like 45 minutes of my life if that's the case. Those were precious 45 minutes. I could have been playing Battlefield. So, what's about to come out of your pooper, buddy? Do you even have a pooper? How's that work out? I've never examined the anatomy of a Xeno Crusher before. Okay, Jesus, we've been Rickrolled! I knew it! I knew it! Oh my god, that is- I just had- I would not have been able to live with myself if I didn't check it out for my own two eyes. And now I'm positive. This is just- Heartbreakingly, heartbreaking right here. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy shit, a baby Xeno Crusher has come out of it. What the fuck? That's awesome, dude. That's the coolest thing ever. Are you serious? Baby Xenos? What the fuck is that? That's amazing. Come here, little buddy. Come get some num nums. I can't believe that just happened. That's so funny. You know what? I actually don't know anything about Xeno Crushers. This might be how Xeno Crushers are born right here. They might just make love like normal, normal, God loving Americans. <laughs> It's time for watching a lot of TV today. To just get onto your child. There we go. I want that mama dot, mama son shot right there. Actually, what gender is the child? 
Does it even matter? Look at it, it's so little down there. It is a, it is a mother sunshot. Look at what the hell we're seeing right now. This is insanity. This started out as a freaking xenomorph versus Godzilla fight, and now it has ended up in like birthing time in the Xeno Cage. This is too funny. I can't believe this right now. This is Godzilla. Godzilla beat the child out of this woman. <laughs> okay, well now the mission becomes keep this child alive for when Godzilla comes back around. Because that's about to happen, because that was the whole point of the video. I did not expect the baby Xeno Crusher. Look how fucking cute they look. You know what's terrible? This, even at this size, Xenomorphs would scare the hell out of me, because their potential and their rapid growth, they grow so fast. I can't believe a baby Xeno was born. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Alright, you guys ready for round two? You guys ready to beat us? Oh my god, we could have had a giant hump fest going on here. But these babies take forever. Forever to get born. Alright, little one, I don't really have time to monitor your food intake right now, so it might be death, is what you're looking at. This poor baby Xeno Crusher better stay out of the fight, that's all I'm gonna- Godzilla kills this child, I'll never forgive myself. Okay, so these guys are way too OP, so time to get an OP Godzilla in here. A hundred times stronger. A hundred times- I didn't realize he's only level 100, but that's still a hundred times stronger than the one prior. What is this? Red- What the fuck is this? This is so cool, dude. There's so many different Godzilla skins coming. God, it's such an amazing video. Albino Godzilla. Albino Zilla. Sorry. And then, baby Xeno Crushers. Which reminds me, I gotta keep that little bastard fed. Dude, these Godzilla skins coming in are so cool. Where did I leave that little speck of farts? There you are. Oh god, you're right within ra- What are you running to? Oh, I froze everything. I forgot. You're right within range of everything, buddy. You might just want to stay out of the fights. This is, I swear to God, if you kill this child, dude, soon we'll be able to have baby Xeno Crusher versus baby Zilla fights. Just straight up toddler wars. That shit sounds awesome. If you kill that baby, I'll never forgive you, Godzilla. Get him. Okay, so these guys might still vaporize his ass way too quickly. What is this issue? They're having that issue before, but they can't attack. There we go. Jump up on him. See, it's that can't attack Godzilla issue. I hate it so much. No, 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 no. You guys have to. What is you guys just freezing up for? What is this shiznizzle? Get him! Protect the child! Where's the child? Protect the child! Gee, look at the Xeno bodies just being freaking flailed all over the place. Oh my god. You're a bunch of failures. Protect the infants. Look, he's just running away from Zilla. He gets it. He knows exactly what to do here. The survivors charge in there. I love that pounce jump they have, man. I'm about to wreck the shit out of this Godzilla. If this is the case, I don't know what's wrong with you. You damn communist. You peaceful objector. Dude, these guys are pretty OC. These Xenos are still very strong. It's just that half of them didn't attack. Which often when you don't attack, you die. Okay, as long as the baby's alive, right? Is it? Where's the child that was running off this way? There you are, little fart. You gotta put food in your inventory. He's just booking it. Honestly, he's a smart guy to hide in this little corner of the map. You're a smart failure. Where'd you go? Okay, now stay there. Stay there. You don't. This is probably the best place here for him to hide. What a smart little failure. All right, time for revenge. I think you killed your mom too, dude. All right, you guys. This is this is the final battle right here. This is. I feel like it's too. I don't know because these guys are a lot weaker than the last ones I had in here. They're like less than twice as. See, a lot of these guys are like level three hundred and shit too, which are very weak compared to Zilla, and he is level a hundred, so I didn't take that into account. But they do put up a good. F no, this was the father. This see, they were way higher level before. Dude, dad is just a straight up piece of shit. You are getting in this fight. The mom died defending her child. And get your lazy ass not paying child support rent booty on in this fight because you're the OP now. Basically the OG as well. He's the OP OG. He's the overpowered original gangster. Before we get in this fight because dad's a piece of shit and mom's dead. I gotta go feed this child. I could personally relate to this except my mom's not dead. Hang on. I gotta put food in your shizzle. That sounds weird. In your butt. Okay, you know what? You just get, you just die for all I care. It's time for this. <laughs> it's time for this fight to go down. All right, Zenos. This is for Alien Day. This is for Deadbeat Zeno Crusher dads and Ripley's awesome ass and Ridley for making those movies. Anything that rhymes with those words for the most part. And Ripley's believe it or not books because those books kept me entertained in school during some very boring ass classes. Are we ready? Are we ready? I have so many dreams just like this. Oh shit, it's going down. 
forgot about Godzilla. Too focused on being in my underwear, but Zeno's chasing me. If even half of them attack, then they will surely vaporize him. You stupid bitches, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Oh my god. You just lose that one, Zeno. See, we're having the same bug issue as last time. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, where a lot of creatures just won't attack it for some reason. It's heartbreaking. I'm thinking he just doses them with such extreme waves of chemotherapy through that nuclear atomic breath that they just freeze up and can't do shit. If you watch my survival series, me and Media had the same issue. Media had so many strong creatures that, from different mods that he just suck on it. Stuck? Suck on it? What's the past tense for sick him? It's suck him, isn't it? It sounds gay past tense. He sicked them, that makes more sense, onto Zilla and they all just stood there and God said, Zilla just bit them for like five minutes each till they died, it was horrible. So this is a bit of an issue we're having with Zilla right here. Is the child still alive? That's all that matters. Me and this baby are gonna go start our own life. No one will recognize that he's not human. So yeah, Godzilla may have won the end of this fight, which doesn't seem very alienific in this video that's supposed to be for Zeno's, but they won the first fight, they obliterated him, and they were able to give birth in a way I didn't even know Zeno's could give birth. In a way, Zeno's can't even give birth. This one had the biggest penis in the clan. I remember him. Anyways, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, download the mods in the video in the description, and have a nice day, guys. Peace! Yeah.